Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. That's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm Stevie. And, and we're, we're the Marriott's. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is Saturday in our household. It is the weekend. So I decided last week I did a weekend vlog and it was just the entire weekend. And I feel like I'm gonna do that today as well because our weekends we're not doing like, unless we have like something crazy going on that's like takes up a whole lot of footage, but it usually doesn't. So I'm thinking I will record today and I'll record tomorrow as well. Cause today is the day I got up. I have been working on my laptop. <laughs> I'm not, I'm learning, learning video editing, learning that stuff. I'm just, it's not like something that comes super natural to me. So I'm learning new things. I had to do some stuff that I just don't understand how to do and did it and then it just, it made it freeze up my computer and crash and I was like, <laughs> so, thank the Lord for autosave because I did save part of it but not the part that it took me forever to figure out. So right now I finally got it to crunch and I'm like, okay, don't touch the laptop, walk away. So I'm hoping, bye. I'm hoping it crunches and does its thing and I'll be able to go, okay, I did it, but I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see. So it is literally 1140 right now if I look at my clock. So it has taken me all morning. I normally do a whole lot of other stuff in the morning. I didn't even get to do anything except go over my lesson for church. That was it and answer and look at comments. So I'm gonna have a little bit more work to do later today, but that's okay. Just a little bit further behind. I'm okay with that. It's getting there. It will get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. That's what I say. So the kids got up. Um, Matthew and Lauren and Jaden and Brooklyn got up early, well, early nine o'clock, and then they went to go hiking today. So they are hiking in Table Rock. So they went there. Um, we were talking about it. I'm like, we have never even taken Matthew there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I guess we haven't. And so we used to go there a whole lot. It's, it's funny. Like we do, when you move to a new area or you don't have a whole lot of other things going on in your life. All right, I don't even know what I'm saying that. When we moved to a new area, we did everything. We were gone every single weekend. We were hiking, we were doing this, we were doing all these great things, road trips, this and that was the greatest thing ever. Well, we did that a lot when we moved into our rental house because we weren't at our home that much. Well, now that we bought our house, we're here. It seems like we do so much more here, obviously with our home. And then when we both, um, go to church, even though we always went to church, we just weren't connected in the beginning with people, and so you just have a lot more time. Well, now that you're, I mean, we're connected at church and we do a whole lot more, that takes up more of your days and time, and then we get connected into our business, my husband's business, and I know they are so crazy working this weekend, and so haven't even seen them very much at all, and so it's just that can take up a lot of your time, so you don't have a lot of time to do extra. So we used to go to South Carolina all the time, like almost every weekend, pretty much every Sunday, and just that was our family time, and we have not done it, and so, I was like, we haven't even used our passes. And so Brooklyn's like, I haven't even hiked in a whole year. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. So they went to Table Rock to go hiking today and go swimming, which is awesome. I'm like, that's a good thing to do. We'll do that, I mean, I hope we do that in the fall and bring you, because it's a beautiful hike. Great time, hopefully we will make time for that. We will just see how life goes, because it is busy. So they are doing that, and my husband and sons, um, Colin and Evan got up, and they are going to work on a big, huge sign install that they are doing. They've been working all weekend, actually this week and the weekend, doing that. So they're doing that. It's just been around the clock for them. Leave early, get home late, like two in the morning because they're trying to set up the shop as well. Lots going on. And so today is just the four little kids. I call them little kids, they're little. Four, the four younger ones and me. So I was like, Yesterday we did the pool again. We only have two more days, three more days of the pool and so before they close for the season and so yesterday they were all like, eh, I'm done with the pool and so I'm like, okay, and I said, well tomorrow we won't go. So I kind of figured I would stay home all day with them. They're happy doing plain dolls, toys, whatever they're gonna do. And then every one of them came to me, are we gonna go to the pool today? And I was like, you wanna go to the pool today? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, we'll go to the pools. <laughs> So I worked on my laptop, got that done, and I'm like, you know what, I need to start getting my day rolling. So I'm gonna start getting my chores done. It's gonna be just me today, I'm okay with that. I'm okay letting those little kids play, do their thing. And they might do little things like pick up the room and they're kind of, their own personal responsibilities and I'll do the rest. It's real quick, we did, it's, the house is pretty much clean. So I'm gonna clean, I decided to change. I was doing a deep cleaning day during the week of my bathrooms, 
but during the week is so busy for me, especially with school now. So I'm taking Saturdays now and doing my deep clean in my bathrooms. That just works easier for me. So I'm gonna be deep cleaning my bathroom, deep cleaning the other boys' bathroom, and then um, just go through and see if it needs to be picked up, just maybe do a quick swiffer across the floor. Um, that's it, I don't think there's any laundry because I believe I did all the laundry yesterday. So no laundry, I think, which is awesome. And then um, just a quick pick up of the house. There's not even, there's a few dishes put in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to get food made because we made all that food for the week and we are down to just some, let me look. Okay, we still have a lot of French toast left, which is okay because I can freeze it and just a little bit of that hash left and that's it. And I still have the chicken. So today I'm gonna take the chicken that I um, put on the smoker, which was awesome. And we're gonna take that, I'm gonna cut that up and cook it and put it with some fettuccine Alfredo. Easy, so we have that here. And I think I'm gonna do some burgers on the grill. And if I don't do the grill, maybe I'll do inside. We're gonna see how much productivity, either outside or inside, we'll see. Probably grill, just way faster. Do the grill so there's burgers for the guys because they like quick and easy sandwiches to grab and go, especially when they're working. And so I'm thinking, I'm literally just gonna make those too. So that way we can have fettuccine tonight or tomorrow. We can have some burgers tomorrow. There may be something else, but Probably not, I don't know, we'll see if there's anything else I can creatively make up. I'm getting down to the barrel of food, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to get a grocery list here, but I'm just not feeling ready to do that yet, which is okay, we'll get there. So I'm gonna do those today, and then tomorrow is going to be, so then today, and then we'll do pool. Pool, and I'm gonna work on my stuff over there because I have to get some stuff done. We also are gonna put all of our door locks. I got, um, finally, see my, everyone's like, that drives me crazy, I'm like, I know, finally got door locks for there. We got new ones for here and one's for the front. So we're gonna replace all these upstairs, well, those three right now. And then I'll eventually do the hallways and the bedroom doors, but these for now, little by little, and get that done either today or tomorrow. I said, told my husband, I said, do you think that's something I should do? And he's like, uh, no, honey. <laughs> so I don't want you to have to do that. And I'm like, I'll gladly do that. He goes, no, no, I'm gonna do that. Don't touch them. So whether it is easy or not, I don't know, but he says, honey, don't touch. So he will be installing those tomorrow. I'll show you that. And then we're also gonna spend, we'll have church in the morning. We'll do some of that. And then we're gonna go to the pool together. He has not been to the pool with me. I know, honey, working way too much. So we're gonna go to the pool because it'll be our last day to go. They are open Monday for Labor Day, but I just don't know. We'll probably, I don't know if we'll go. We will see how kids feel. But as of now, probably won't go, but we'll see. So we're gonna take daddy there and we're gonna go swimming and relaxing and just take the day to chill together as a family. And then there's pizza right down the road. And I said, why don't we go there and spend the whole afternoon after church, swim. And then um, when you get tired of swimming, you can stop and you can go get pizza and bring it back and we can eat pizza. And that'll just be a good relaxing, fun family day. So that is our plans tomorrow because it is just gorgeous outside. Gorgeous. <laughs> I was like, it has been such blue sky beautiful weather like the good mountain weather where it's cool in the morning which you get in your car and you're like oh my goodness it's so cold turn the heat on but that sun comes out and it's just so great that's why i fell in love with the weather here it was like it had that coolness but as that sun comes out it's just so so warm and so that it's just going good and then i think there's a hurricane coming you guys have said to be safe and i don't know the name i apologize i'll know it by the time i post this and my husband was saying well they just said it's taking a turn and going up into the carolina and i was like "Ooh." so i don't know what that means for us it probably means rain 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 which that's okay because right now it is just gorgeous so i'm going to enjoy this gorgeous weather because i know eventually it's going to turn to some sort of rain so all right let's look at our letter board of the day all right letter board of the day is chosen not forgotten and loved Okay, so let me show you what my inspiration came with this. I was choosing songs for um, our children's worship songs for Sunday. It was Who You Say I Am. So that's where it comes, Who You Say I Am. I always, when we sing that song in um, the children's church and with the kids, and we, uh, they start declaring the part, and I say, you're declaring these words, and you're saying what God says about you. He says, you're chosen. So I always say, you're chosen. Just say, speak that out, you're chosen. It's not forsaken, but not forgotten. You're not forsaken. God has not forgotten you. Don't ever think that you've been forgotten by God. Don't ever think, no matter what happens in your life, that God has just forgotten you and just left you alone because there's this pit of despair. No, God has not forgotten. And then it's, I am who you say I am, you know, because you are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. We repeat those words and sing those songs and I share with the kids about that and loved, I threw loved in there because you are loved. Just know that, like, even if you don't feel love, you might not feel love from your husband, you might not feel love from anybody, you might feel neglected as a child, you might have grown up and just felt like no one cares, like no friends, no nothing. Just know that you are loved, that God loves you. And you need to say that sometimes to yourself. When you're having those days of just feeling like, 
miserable and just feeling down, just look at yourself in the mirror and just say, God loves me. It's like so simple, right? If you say it, God loves me. Pretty cool. It's a good feeling to know that you are loved. It's a great feeling to know that you are loved by someone. That someone is God is more important than anybody else. You can be loved by your husband, you can be loved by your kids, but they're gonna let you down. They're gonna let you down. Oh yes, they are. Because <laughs> they are human beings, but guess what? God never does. He loves you. So you have to say to yourself, God loves me. Chosen, just know that you are chosen. You are chosen to do something great on this earth, no matter where you came from, how you were born into this world. You might've been born by parents that you don't even know. You might've been born out of a rape situation. You might've been born out of who knows what situation, drug addict parents. I don't know what your situation is, but just know that you're chosen, that God has you here for a plan and a purpose. Our job is just to find that plan and a purpose and get on that path and he'll just direct you the rest of the day. That's pretty cool. Not forgotten. Don't ever feel like God's left you alone. People like her are like, I can't hear God. He's just left me. No. Sometimes we get so into that, like listening to the other side, the enemy, and letting that drown out. We get so numb to when God does speak to us because we don't want to do what he tells us to do that we feel like he's forgotten us, but he hasn't. Just know that you are chosen, you are not forgotten, and you are loved. Three words for today. Chosen not forgotten and loved. Know that. Know that you're chosen. You're chosen. I, you are here watching my videos today and God is telling you are chosen and you are not forgotten. You're not forgotten. I don't think, forget about all you guys. You guys are here. I love hearing that you're here when you guys leave comments and positive notes. I'm like, all right, just know that you're here. It's a plan, a purpose from God and you're loved. You're loved by God. You're loved by me. I am so happy you're here. I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad you enjoy my crazy ways, my fast talking ways <laughs> and watching our life and what we do to share what God will do in your life when you let him do it. That's why I share my videos. That's why I make these videos. It's not for you guys to watch me and go, look at me, she can cook for 10 people, or oh, look at her, 12 people. However many I cook for 11 people. Oh, look at her, she can shop and make, and spend a lot of money. Yeah, that's not a great thing to have to go spend a lot of money for groceries. <laughs> Those are not positive things. You want to spend less, but I have to because I got a lot of kids are, oh, look at me. They're doing this. They're doing that. Or they're buying this or they're buying that. You know how we do these things? Because of God. We don't go into debt just to show you something. We don't just want to spend $1,500 in groceries a month because we want to. No, my goodness, I would not want to do that. I want to show you what God will do for you if you let him in your life. There's a reason why I didn't do YouTube 10 years ago because I wasn't seeing God in my life because I wasn't allowing him to do anything in my life. I made a decision that I would let every situation, every opportunity that he was to give me ever since we moved here to North Carolina. And that is when I saw my life change hugely and dramatically. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's so crazy. So God will do things in your life. He is able, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think. But it's according to the power in us, the power that lives inside of you, the Holy Spirit and what you allow it to do. So remember that today, don't limit God. Open up and let God do some great things in your life because you are chosen, not forgotten, and loved. Yes. All right. What are we going to do first? What do we always do first? Bathrooms. Let's just get those bathrooms done because bathrooms are like, uh, and, and in reality, it takes me like five minutes to clean my bathrooms, but it's one of those dreaded jobs, like uh, the bathrooms. So we're going to go back. We're going to go deep clean the bathroom, make the bed, pick it up, move our way out, and keep on going. Like, first, I got to get Maxine. She's so funny. She wants to go outside so bad, so bad, so bad. You see the animals. You can hear her scratching. And so Ruby's out there. She can lay with Ruby, but she's at the window and she's like hopping up over and over. Let me see if I can, we can show you her. She's funny. All right, we're gonna go clean the bathroom.
Okay, so all of the chores are done now. I'm just gonna leave Autumn vacuumed for me, which was sweet. I'm gonna have her sweep out here because she does a good job and Maddie said she's gonna bring up all the dishes because there's tons of dishes, I don't know why, but downstairs. So they're gonna do that. That's it, we're gonna put in the dishwasher. So I got out a plate more cookies because it's the weekend, everybody's here having fun. And then pulled out ooh, some of these good delicious chocolate things that Jaden made, those little chocolate balls. So, so good. And then I was like, okay, let me go figure out food. So I know my husband would like burgers. That's simply easy. I had these from like months ago. So I'm gonna cook those on the grill right now. Pulled out some hamburger buns and I have like three extra. So I'll cook these. Let me put some cheese on it and do that. And then um, I had a little bit of chicken, like, and I'll cut it up and we'll use it for fettuccine. But then I was like looking and I'm like, I have a lot of shish kebab stuff still left. I'm not gonna do the shish kebab because I do not want to take the time to put stuff on skewers. But I'm, well, no, it takes too long. So what I'm gonna do is go on my grill, put a big piece of foil down, and then I'm just gonna pour the vegetable mixture. I pulled it out of the freezer. Stuck it in the microwave for a few minutes so I can at least pull it apart. Oh yeah, I'm doing the same thing for chicken. So I'm gonna cook some chicken on the grill with this. We can have this. Um, I have some cauliflower rice. I'm gonna heat up some mixed vegetables or there's fettuccine for dinner tonight or there's burgers, whatever. This, okay, if I had to make a plan because I, I have to think of the whole weekend. Like right now, my husband and boys are out. They're gonna come home at some time today. I don't know when and they're gonna be like, I'm starving. It won't be at lunch because it's already past lunch. It'll be whenever. It might be five o'clock and they're starving and I don't have dinner done. Or they might come home and have dinner and then later at night, about 10 o'clock, want more food. So if I make the burgers more of like a snack for them, whatever they want to eat, that'll be good. The chicken upright will be basically for dinner for all of the rest of the family and them too. But tomorrow after church, we're gonna have to come home and have food. So either one will suffice and work and then we're gonna go get pizza at night. So I'm thinking that's gonna work. Let me turn that back on. So when I was down in my freezer, I found a pan of lasagna and I'm like, ooh, it said August 1st. So what I'm gonna do, because lasagna frozen solid takes like days to unthaw, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator and whether we have it on a Monday or Tuesday, probably more likely Tuesday, could be Monday, depends how much food we have left over. I'm gonna do that and I pull out some garlic Texas toast. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator, then we can have that on Monday or Tuesday, that'll work. So I'm gonna go out and light my grill right now. Actually, I'm gonna get a pot of boiling water going for fettuccine, go light my grill, and then I can cook all the stuff and be done with food. Yes, that's what I do. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so I got the stuff in the grill. I decided to use my propane grill for the burgers to get them done and then my smoker for the chicken shish kebab. So I remember that I bought a bunch of whippy cream to make ice cream and never have yet. So I'm gonna whip together some ice cream here and hopefully it'll be good. The recipe has heavy cream and whole milk. Don't have either of the whole milk. So I'm gonna use evaporated milk and coconut milk and hope all goes well. I have a lot of that whipping cream to do something with it. So I'm like, I'm gonna actually make some homemade whipped cream. I don't know what we'll do with it. I might just put it on coffee. I don't know, we'll figure out something to put on, but I've got so much it's got to get used up. So we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream. So I just put in there, it was one cup of whipping cream, two tablespoons of confectioner sugar or regular sugar. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just saw the, this asterisk. Probably supposed to cook that. <laughs> it says, if you're making large batches, you may begin to taste the granules of granulate sugar and confectioner sugar is the way to go. So hopefully we won't, that's okay. We'll just keep whipping it. So I'm gonna whip this and then some, a, what was it? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. So I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, the burgers are done. Cook those real quick and perfect timing because the husband is home, so he's home. The kids had chicken salad, stuff for the chicken meat stuff. Sandwich bread on crackers today. They're gonna have burgers. I'm gonna get a pot of water boiling. My whipped cream is going. I was like, did I not mess it up? But I said, turn it up. So we're gonna keep moving, grooving.
to Greg. He come, he come home. He come home. He came home. And I was making my pasta. And like, I had way too much. I'm like, that's a lot of pasta. So instead of adding it all into Alfredo sauce, I'm going to just put as much as I have in here. And then put that, like, in a uh, box bag in the refrigerator for whatever, for later time. But if we do end up eating it, I can just add it to here. I just feel like there's a lot of pasta. I don't think we'll eat it. I don't want to wait to make this super mushy, so it'll be good. Oops, sorry, I didn't, didn't pay attention to uh, how much I was adding. I'm like, oh yeah, keep going, keep going. This angel pasta is like so tiny, so you think it's good, and then you realize there's so much. So this is good. This is the Alfredo. I usually use angel pasta because that's what I had. I only had a little bit of spaghetti and a little bit of um, actually no fettuccine. So this will work. Okay, so the smoker, greatest thing ever. Look at it. It's delicious. Oh my goodness. It tastes so, so good. So the only bad thing was that um, some of my veggies fell through the grate because I didn't put them on skewers. So, okay, so I was talking to my husband, so I don't think I showed you the ice cream. Let me show you the ice cream. He came in and threw me all out of off a loop there. So look at it. It's like soft serve vanilla. It's so good. This is good. So this is it. Wash my dishes, dishwasher's running. All the food is in the oven. So that whoever comes home, whenever they come home, there is dinner, so that's the plan. The next thing will be, I think, going to the pool. Oh, look at that, okay. 93 degrees. Oh my goodness, it's hot. We finally made it to the pool. It's four o'clock. We are headed to the pool. Everybody's fighting for the seat. Everybody loves sitting in the middle seat, so we're fighting for it. So we're gonna go to the pool, then we're gonna go over and see Daddy at the shop afterwards. Okay, great day at the pool. Like one other group of, no, one other family here, that's it. So, so nice. So, we just had, we're talking to one of the workers here and he was saying that he's gonna see if they are stay open later this month. Especially for the local people like me. So hopefully they will. That would be awesome to be open a whole nother month because it's still really, really hot. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and see. So, okay, I'm gonna go swim some more. Okay, here's the girls. Lauren and Brooklyn and Jane's over coming over too. Yeah. Hurry Jane, come to the group. She's getting her shoes on. Okay, where are you guys going? Apple Festival! Oh. Apple Festival in Hendersonville. It's visited by what, 40,000, 50,000 like people? people? What are you most looking forward to at the Apple Festival, Lauren? Slushies. Food and apples. Slushies and apples. I had a really good apple. It was like tasty, just like Apple Place from the bank. Apple well, somebody was sponsoring it, so. You guys look cute, you look so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. They were here to cheap out. They're from Lauren, Sheep years ago. I know. It's all good. Who's Jane? Jane's going over here too. Hi, Jaden. How was Tay Rock? Jay, you guys all loving it? It's good. It's you guys good did a good fell. hike. More. Jaden fell. Jaden fell right here underneath. Oh, I'm sorry. Me Jane. and then twisted this ankle. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Bye. I slipped and fell one time. Remember, Miss Kathleen and I went one time and she slipped right off the yeah, side too. She fell. I fell. Oh, yeah, it's the greatest. It's good memories. Good fun. Okay, you guys have fun. I'm going to clean up. Have fun, Mom. I've been cleaning. Bye, girls. In my jammies.
My kissy. So peaceful out tonight. A perfect night. So I was just listening down there. You can hear something in the woods down there. I was thinking maybe it was acorns, but it sounds like noise, like either something's walking down there, like say a bear or a, a deer. It's moving this way now. Hmm. Maybe I'll get a bear sighting for you. Ruby's, I don't know where Ruby is. Something, so. Okay, so this is our Saturday night. Husband got home, my husband, Greg, you know Greg. And Colin got home and then um, they're tired, they're exhausted from working and so um, I just pulled out dinner, they ate that. Everybody got a bath and then um, we're gonna be done for the evening. So it's early, it's like only 7.30, so it'll be good just to relax and chill tonight and talk and spend time with him. I haven't seen him for a few days, he's been really busy. And then um, tomorrow I'll get up, not too early. I have to open again, Miss Chi Chi. <coughs> Hi Chi Chi, you the kitty. Kitties are so brave, she's like on a railing. So I'm going to get up tomorrow, not super early. It's Sunday, I have a um, lesson to teach and do, but I've already gone over it and stuff, so I won't have a whole lot to do. Just had to do like an object lesson. So I got all my supplies together. Everything's together, so it'll be super simple. So I'll look over that in the morning, um, get my time in with the Lord, and then, <laughs> yes, I see you, kitty, get my coffee, and then get kids ready, get them up, and then we'll get out the door and get to church. And then we'll uh, stay at church for a couple hours, and then head home, and then we'll have leftovers here. And then we're planning on going to the pool tomorrow. I think that was the game plan. Going to the pool again, love it. And then um, with Greg though, he hasn't been to go. And then we'll do, <laughs> Chi Chi, you just can't get enough love. Can't get enough love at all. She says, mommy, I love you. And then we'll do a pizza or something for dinner and just chill, just have a good family time. So, all right, so I'm gonna close this video right here. But actually, no, I'm not gonna close this video right here. I'm just gonna stop this video. The next clip you see will be me in the morning getting ready for church, all right? Okay, so sleep well. I'll see you in like two seconds. Oh, kitty moment. There's one kitty. Chi Chi. Moving with Chi Chi. Okay, then we got, look at, oh, there's the brother. Oh, you almost fell. Brother Daniel or Chubby. Hello. Look who's laying in the blanket here. Do my kitty. You're such a pretty kitty. Pretty boy kitty. Then look at right there. Patches. Hello, Patches. You got something on your nose. It's looking like dirt. You're so pretty. That's Autumn's kitty. Who else do we got? I think there was more coming. I think we had some more. Who's that? It's Mr. Grumpy. Oh, Mr. Grumpy. Look at his face. Doesn't it just say I'm so grumpy? Grumpy. Grumpy and then over here is Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. Fluffy's like, I am happy. Set it for kitties and then Bear is on the other deck all by himself. He is a loner kitty cat. <laughs> He's with Ruby. All right, that's kitty cats for the night. So I'm gonna go, can I go inside? Go see the family. What a gorgeous day out. Another blue sky day. So great day, we just got home from church and you saw my giant mess. That's what it looks like when we come home. <laughs> I literally put all the food out. Everybody just grabs a plate, we microwave, fight for the microwave. My husband's like, wow, we need another microwave. I said yes, only on Sunday afternoons. So we are just going to, I'm just gonna clean up real quick, um, chill for a little bit and then we are going to go head to the pool, and go swim, relax, we're gonna order some pizza and have pizza and then come back and do a few things at the house here. I've got all my door locks that I want to replace upstairs. So that's something I know that we're gonna to do today. So it'll be a good day, just a good day chilling with family. Kids want slushies. Oh wait, the slushies place isn't open. I just thought about that. They want lemonade slushies, but they're not open. So I guess they'll wait on the slushies. So it's just gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna go in, clean up, change, put on my swimsuit and get ready for a great sunshine relaxing day because it's gonna be another gorgeous day. Okay, go into the pool. Ooh, Daddy got pizza. Hmm? Daddy. Hi, baby. Brought pizza with Colin. So what do we got? A Labor Day weekend action here? Labor Day action at the pool. It's a little packed. I mean, like 10 people packed, so. We're going to go swim. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. So, 
<laughs> okay, go swim. Not just drying off, so I look like we are here. Since I didn't get any swimming. <laughs> okay, we did the pool. Daddy met us. He's over there. Daddy and Kyle. Oh, and, and Evan. And they brought pizza, which was awesome. So they brought pizza. And then we uh, got to swim for a couple hours. It was great. So we're going to go head back home now and do some stuff at home. Whatever. Oh, you're not driving the Porsche. Now you got to drive the van. What? You guys are working. Yeah, we got like 10,000 pounds of stone in the back. They do. So yeah, it's like a lot of weight in the back. So we're going to go ahead right now. It's a kitty marathon. Look at all you kitties. One, two, three, four others sitting here among my tile. Five, six kitties. No bear. Bear's nowhere to be found. Look at that. It's beautiful. So nice. All right, we just got back from the lake. So, not the lake. We didn't go to the lake. We went to the pool. So nice. It was, it was gold. I was like, okay, I'm getting chilly. I'm like, it's time to go home. So we, uh, we're home now and then we're gonna put some locks and I finally got all the handles for my door. So we're gonna go put those on right now. I'm excited because I have matching. So I'm gonna see if I can do this. I don't know if my husband will let me. We will see. So we're gonna attempt that right now. So his husband just walked in the room. He's like, honey, what are you doing? Why are you putting the locks on? <laughs> he's like, you should not do this. So he's going to take over and do these doors for me now. So I'm sure this is easy. I'm sure it's just put on, push together and screw together. I feel like this one's super simple. You could probably do it before he even walks back upstairs. Let's see if I'm going to get some skills here. Screws go on this side. And this would go through here. in there baby already needed the husband you had to pound the Hi. what's that thing called you don't need anybody. what's that thing called i need somebody like you Aww. i mean just you just me so i would have just put that in and push the screws in and it wasn't all the way so he says these little spikes this is meant to be pushed into the wood so simple after you do that first thing and then just screw the screws in yeah just get that. a little tap in there to kind of set it back this in one's there easy. I'm gonna work his way up. He's gonna do simple ones and then I got something to advance for him today. Where's your old ones? I just run away. Oh, you can show him the difference, the difference in the back side. What? Like your old one probably didn't have the teeth, you know? Oh, I don't know. So you put those little teeth back there, you can drive them another door. He's so smart. And it just help, helps hold the door, helps hold your lock. Honey, you need to come down closer to the camera so they can see you. <laughs> we'll, we'll zoom up. There you go, good job. I can't bend over for anything. Honey. <laughs> He's doing great. Thank you, honey. So these ones, the screws go on this side. <clears throat> that's why I took it off. Yeah, I was just gonna ask I know that. Which way. And that just goes through and you can line up the holes, right? See the, see the smiley face in there? You have a smiley face on here. Okay. They have to go through the same way. You can smiley face through the groove. Okay, do you guys see the smiley face? Smiley face. Mm. Or no? Edit that part out? No. <laughs> Might have to. 
That hole pattern doesn't line up. Show that to the camera, honey. It's not our fault, it's the props prop. Look at it. So it's bent. I don't know if you can see this leg right here, yeah. but it's got a real tight gap up here. I can't even get my finger through it, and down here it's way open. So we have a defective see product. How, yeah, see how it's bent on an angle? It's so not what? Bend it? Well, I'll try to get it in there and see what it does. I hate to bend it too hard and break it. Okay, he's doing a fantastic. Up, he's doing a fantastic job. He was like, "Where'd you get these door knobs at? They're Toys R Us." <laughs> I'm like, I was just like teasing. door handles. I don't know. No, the one was just bent. That's all. So we got it. So it's all good. So he's just yeah. That leg being bent made it kind of weird getting it in there. So now I have to paint around the door now. But this looks good. Now it's just stain the brush nickel. So now it'll match. Good job, baby. Oh, we got the you, kick plate in too. What do you call it? The, uh, not the kick plate. What's it called? Striker plate. Striker plate. Let's see if that fits. Hey, look at there. Perfect. What's all this around the door? Paint from the other knob is bigger. Oh, it just ripped off? Yeah. Just tore off? Were you able to get it down? <laughs> Wait, look, look at Evan over here. Right? That's what you get for wanting to help. Here's Evan. Look at Evan. Evan wanted to help. He's so sweet. Look at He's like, I'll take this door knob off, but mm -hmm. the door, uh, he has to open the door first. Yeah. He can't open the door because the door knob fell off. So we just got a quick lesson in if you want to change the doorknob, make sure the door is open. Yes. <laughs> So you can't put it back on. Um, I just have to push that in from the outside. Put it in. Say, get in here, baby. Wait, you got some lessons in, in screw driving for people? Because they Not said they wanted really. your tips. Uh, a lot of times, when you replace an uh, old lock with a new one, mm -hmm. these kind of openings won't fit. Oh. So you'll have to get in there with a chisel. Chisel away. And mark it up and chisel it. And screwdrivers, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. In case uh -huh. you don't know that, I know that. That's good. That's about all. Unless it's the left hand thread. Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> Very good. Alex, Looking good. Oh, here's Evan. Let's see. <laughs> here's poor Evan over here. Let's get Evan. He's trying to get in the door. <laughs> Will it twist? No, hero. Okay, it's not only working with Greg, it's working with Evan. All right, Evan, we're going to remove these locks. Yes. I got to paint all these doors. They're so dirty already. Okay, look at the muscles on Greg. He's working hard trying to get these in. He's like, honey, it's so hard. So, oh, we should have pre-drilled. <laughs> but, but you didn't. Look, take one guess at where all of our cordless drills are. Yeah. Not where would be, they be? Not going to be doing good there, honey. They are at the shop. I could drive 15 minutes every single day if I need like paint or something or like a screwdriver. So bad. Show them the screws that came out. Um, What's this? They're all rusty. Yeah, they're really rusty. Were they even three quarters of an inch long? Is that three quarters of an inch these long? These ones are an inch and a half. Oh, <laughs> so these are way smaller, sorry. And, and then uh, at the very end of the brakes, they go from a coarse thread okay. down to a fine thread, which is crazy. So the coarse thread gets that sucker in there, and that fine thread just buries right into the they wood. Want, real good they stuff. They want your door to look good. That's real good stuff. Uh -uh. Well, husband's finishing putting that up. He's doing a fantastic job. You, we we decided not to go with just traditional deadbolts on our doors, and we got the Lockley Secure Pro Deadbolt Edition. Now this is pretty cool because you can use like a fingerprint to open the door, so all the kids can have their own fingerprints to go on the door. They can do a key code combination, or you can use a key for it. Just a lot more secure way to know if your door's locked. Like I know if someone will come in like give me alert on my phone message or you know if the door's not locked or I can lock it from my bed which is really cool too it works with Google Home I know and Alexa mm, it works with Alexa nice. it works with Google Home 
front. Does it say? Right. Look at that. Works with Alexa. Evan's so smart. Works with Alexa and works with. But we don't have Alexa, so. But we can tell our Google. We have a Google. Yeah, Jensen has Alexa, so. Pretty cool. But it was the 2019 CES Innovation Awards. Pretty cool, so. All right, so he's gonna go on this one. This is gonna be a little bit more advanced. They actually had a app. You can um, download an app and it walks you through a 3D, 3D view of how to put this thing together. So we're gonna work on that right now and show you how it works. Okay, deadbolts are not easy to remove. You can't just remove the screw, otherwise the robber would just remove the screw to get into your house. So you have a tiny little... A little Allen screw. On the side. Look at your camera, it really focuses good. I know, it's good. You can see it turn and twist in there. That was attached to that knob there, he just pulled it off. Yeah, it's basically a set screw is what it is. Hey, so, hey. Hey, while I got my set, tiny set screws, <laughs> what? I'm put our toilet paper roll back. Oh! Oh yes, you remember the toilet paper roll, you guys, where I was like, sweet, look at me, I installed this with my nail file. Well, guess what? Oh, was I not supposed to say anything? <laughs> Did you guys notice that uh, like, I haven't had the toilet paper roll on for like a month now? Today I was sitting on the toilet, you know, thank you, too much information. I'm like, there was no toilet paper. Someone had used the toilet paper and did not replace the toilet paper. Well, that wouldn't be me, it's probably Evan. I'm sure, there was nobody in there but you. I was like, where's the toilet paper? I don't have the toilet paper roll. Yeah, not, not good when you're a woman, so. Okay, okay. so then we peel off the, pried off the, Yep, and look at Cover two, right here. two screws right here. Yep, and it exposes the mounting screws. Nice. Very good. All right, yeah. they're going to return. We take these off, and then we're going to install this. It says 20 minutes. High security. The Lockley, you get the app, and it tells you, like, mm -hmm. one person, all your screws, and it says 20 minutes. So I'm going to actually time Greg and see if he can beat the Lockley app. Oh. <laughs> that's probably too much. That's, that's probably too much to do. I won't do that. Oh, that's I'd have to get, like, two apps, uh, two locks, and then have you do the other one. The go. first one will be, like, a... Work in progress. Because this has already turned into a five hour night. <laughs> Just to do locks. For you, I'm being serious. Like, it's not five hours. I've been in here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So just yeah. my leg. I just mean it's going to be a long night for you, honey. That's all. <laughs> I don't think so. It was a fun time. There we go. Okay. So okay we're gonna, the we got to read some information. So we're going to do some reading here. Greg's getting closer to his 20 minute mark. I'm gonna help him out here. Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get the chisel because we gotta chisel the whole door to get the striker plate in. He actually is Amy threw away I, the old one. I did not throw it away. It's always my fault for everything thrown away. Yeah, I just he did my knob story pretty much. This is, um, actually, he is, between me, like, stopping the camera, getting in his way, and giving him a light, and everything else, to step, we actually are in the 20 minute mark, so that's really good. Oh, yeah, this is real easy. Four and so, okay, so we got less. Why can't I take this off? Do you want to finish this or no? Nope. Yeah, right across them like that. Nice job. Honey, look at me installing a battery. Wow. <laughs> so great. You haven't got all four of them yet. You only need three. <laughs> What's the fourth one? Okay, for? now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm wait. not buying that. Now it says before installing the last word, press and hold the program button until you hear a beep, honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, light up. Hello? Is it waiting for you to do? Hey, close. Oh. I opened back up. I did stop. There. Wow, that was hey, cool. Yeah, look in the front. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. It's got these numbers. So it wants to know, does it? Daddy's up. For the He's doing fantastic. I just sat here. This is what I was talking about. Oh, sorry. If you, here don't, if you don't have uh, 
if you go to put in a, a new a new lock situation that doesn't fit the old one, you have to modify the opening. So he had to, so had to score chisel. it with a chisel and beat and drill it deeper with a. Oh, you're bit. so wise. Oh. He did it, and, and for the so record. So here I am, 45 years old, and I'm still doing this kind of. But you love it. So then we just programmed this. The kids and I did. So watch. He touched the door. And it no. Uh -huh. So yeah, on my on right my there. phone, it tells Is me that, like who access the door so I just program all the kids no, fingerprints right. greatest thing ever we gotta put Lauren and Max very on cool they yeah they're not here so Evan Evan is over here because he is gonna install this one this is just a regular old deadbolt so he's gonna be over here we're gonna get him on camera taking this one off he's doing a great job okay very cool it is like dark out, way time for bed, spider scary stuff right here. I wanna show you how cool this lock is. So look it. So here it is, it's kinda of dark. You can swipe it and it locks it. Or you can just push that button. So I'm gonna come on here. I can either type in my password, which you wouldn't even know what it was because there's so many numbers on the thing, or on the side here is where you can stick your finger. Or there's an override for a key right here. And then it is run by battery, so what happens if your battery dies? You can take a nine volt battery and hold it in here and this will all come to life. So this is awesome. So basically we never have to lock our bottom door, which is really cool. So if you just hold my finger, it opens up. And inside, I'm in. Shut the door, automatically locks in a few seconds. Give it a minute. There it goes. <laughs> I didn't wait, it's 10 seconds. Okay, so how cool, we can store like up to 99 fingerprints on there, which is awesome. You just go up there and you touch it, like six good fingerprints, and it saves the fingerprint. So we can also give access codes if like we weren't home and somebody was coming to our house, let's say Matthew was coming over and he was gonna drop something off for Lauren and my door was locked. I could send him a code through my phone and he could just type it in and it would open up. All right, and Lockley is gonna give you $20 off for a coupon code. So these are great because it just, like I said, you push the button. I know remember when we rented a house in Michigan, the buttons where you were pushing, you could tell which buttons they were pushing because they were getting worn on there. So it's good, so Lockley. So thank you Lockley for sponsoring today's video. We are very appreciative to have this secured system for our home. So, all right, guess what this mom is gonna do? It is getting late. I am getting tired, it's 9.30 on the weekend and Evan is still working on the lock over here. We're gonna let him finish that up over here. And then tomorrow I'll show you him doing his wonderful job because I don't want to put the pressure on him to, to get it in. He's doing good. Husband's over here. Let's come see the good. husband. He's doing a fantastic job. Seriously. Evan's doing good. I'm just I'm letting him do this one all by himself. He's sitting here. So Evan, you might be a locksmith. You I'm never know. Evan's like, I don't know. He's like, I'll be done with locks after this. He takes after me, so it'll be perfect. <laughs> oh, honey. Look with your perfect. Look at husband. He's so, so lucky. You're so lucky. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So pretty cool lock. Very cool lock. You're cool. It's very cool. Comment on the lock. How cool. I, I love the lock. And the, the pool. Lock was awesome. How was the pool? I liked it. You have not it been to the pool nice. at all. It was very nice. It was busy too. This weekend has been uh, some rock hauling. Yeah, they've been doing like. For me and the boys. They've been doing so much work. Yep, so we were unable to really do too much today except go get all of our concrete and our stone and stuff. And yeah. It was good. It was nice for a relaxing swim in the pool. It was good. And it was like the busiest day, which I mean, busy there was what? Yeah, about people, 10 people there. 10 people, 15 people there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was busy. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, of all the it days. It was nice and peaceful. Of all the days he comes, yeah. there's like a But it was, it was good, it was in the woods. It was still good, and, and then everybody left, so yeah. then it was like six o'clock, we had our pizza there. So it takes like, a nice drive to get back to yeah, it. Yeah, so. kind of nice, like you had no idea, it was also mm -hmm. pretty big, but I had no idea either, so. But tomorrow's the last day of happiness. Closest, mm -hmm. so that's okay. <laughs> we might go tomorrow, we're gonna see. Either Maybe they'll extend it for you, you never we know. Might, you never know, but do I have time for that? I don't know. Mm, you'll find time. Uh, find if you time. get a whole another month of swimming. Oh my goodness, it'd be like my happiest life ever. <laughs> All right, so Evan's over here working. Look at Evan. Let's get him. Evan, you're doing a fantastic job. If anybody wants their locks installed, say Call yes, it. Evan. I want you to come install my locks for me, and there he will. Look at him. He's like, he's um, I'm doing great. And he's handsome. And he does it with a smile on his face. <laughs> he's like, I don't even know. You're doing great, Evan. <laughs> okay, so. He's gonna do that, so we're gonna say goodbye. Her mom, they should be real long. He's gonna do that, okay, I'm gonna go. All right, so this mom is gonna go. I'm gonna finish this video, and then uh, we're gonna see you guys tomorrow with Monday in our household. Today was a great day, fantastic weekend. Greatest weekend, just relaxing and enjoying. So now it's gonna be kind of like back to school. That's my goal this week, even though we've been doing school, but it's like my real back to school. And so, all that over there, we're gonna start Monday. So I'll record 
clean not too much make food i'm gonna get a grocery list in here probably a shopping haul soon too because it's getting down to the minimum gathering fragments so all right so thank you lockley again for sponsoring today's video and we will see you guys again tomorrow okay bye